Hello, welcome to another Excel at the office.com video. My name's Adrian. Here I'm going to show you how to add new data to your Excel chart and graph. So for example, in this graph, I've got a time series where I'm monitoring things by week. These could be months. And I want to add my latest two weeks information easily. Or um, I've got a um, category base table of data. Um, so my categories are countries. I've got sales next to each of these and I want to extend the chart to include those data and extend it so that whenever I add new categories the chart will uh, incorporate those. Now this, you'll notice online there's several ways of doing it. Um, uh, there's I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways of doing it that keeps your formatting because obviously the proper proper way formatting your uh, table of data as a proper table uh, unfortunately loses all your formatting and you have to delete everything so if you don't want to do that I'm going to show you those the two ways you don't have to do that first but then later on in the video if you want to skip to it um, I'll show you the proper way so let's outline the uh, problem first so I've got this table of data I'm tracking weekly data um, the slow way of updating your chart is either if your data is all nicely neat and together in consecutive rows or columns you can select the chart and simply uh, drag the boundaries of the reference points which are outlined here in the kind of purple and blue outlines choose that that's updated the chart so that's nice um, alternatively um, uh, so that's the kind of one way of doing it if your data is set apart you have to change the source data which you can either get under the um, chart design and select data or um, you can choose right click and select data and then that you have to then update the references for each so you have to edit the uh, the labels to incorporate your range so I tend to select the range but you can always type and adjust the uh, latest row so for example AO is now my extent of the range it was previously AM so you could just type and replace that and I would need to e edit the um, legend entries as well so the values of my series the name's going to stay the same as USA but the values are then going to be uh, this area here so that's the other way, the really slow way of doing it. But a quicker way um, of doing it is if you get your chart to um, refer to um, your area. So let's say, so let's say my chart um, extends to here. So I've got week eleven rather than typing in my week 12 uh, here um, I'm going to extend the chart to this spare space and then anytime I want to add a new week I'm going to right click and insert a column so every time I insert a column it's automatically ready for that data see it's now abridged that so if I put in uh, week 12 and some dummy data and there we go so every time um, I want to do that I'll just um, insert a new column or right click on a selected more targeted area of the cells and insert and shift cells right so now that chart will update whenever I enter new da data between these columns AO and AP um, so that's doing it easily and the benefit of that is it keeps all your original formatting so rather than Excel's auto formatting of your table and then having to delete your chart and start over but let's do it properly now using um, formatting your table as a data uh, formatting your data as a table sorry and then the chart will always update that and I like the category I'll use the category one for this so again here's my chart I've only got it to those categories I want it to those ones as well so what I'm going to do here I'm going to select my range of data 
on the home part of the ribbon, format as table, choose a, uh, any particular format, I quite like the medium styles, and then ensure my table as headers is clicked because my table does have headers, so it differentiates those and click OK. So now that's formatted as a table, um, it's messed up my formats, but I, uh, you can adjust those table formatting if you want. Um, now what I'll have is this um, chart, I'm referencing this table now. Um, so when I add new categories on it, let's choose another country like uh, let's say Italy and see how it's already created that category for me on the um, chart. If I add some values there, 60,000. Um, so now my sales by country is automatically updating no matter uh, what extra data I put on the end of that table. Every time you enter something underneath, directly underneath your table, that will update the table and the chart referencing that table now Will also update. So that's the proper way to do it, but unfortunately it does remove some of the formatting, um, so there are alternatives should you wish. I hope you found that helpful. Um, please uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe if you want more Excel, Word, PowerPoint and even Audacity and other software tips, um, and visit my website eto.blog or exceloftheoffice.com for um, written blogs and support and guidance.